Hello guys, it is Razorland here, and I am making a video on Gorod Krovi. Now, I haven't really been doing that much. I'm not going to lie, I am guilty of it. I haven't been making videos on Gorod Krovi recently, and that is a problem. And I have decided that today I'm going to be doing a video on Gorod Krovi. I have actually been playing the map a lot. Like, I've played this map a lot of times. Like, whilst, um, you know, I haven't been making videos in it. I've actually played it a lot, and I've played it enough to get myself some Liquid Divinium. And what I've done with that liquid, liquid Divinium is that I've managed to get the Gobblegum Disorderly Combat. Now, I know you're seeing other Gobblegums on my screen, but basically what Disorderly Combat does is it makes your gun change every 10 seconds for 5 whole minutes. And today we're going to be doing this is the Disorderly Combat Challenge. So it's going to be a fun one. And also, I want to quickly state that... I'm going to start this challenge, like, I don't know, I don't really know how to do it, because it'll be a bit easy to be playing for five rounds, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to round five, and then I'm actually going to start the challenge, so I'll see you guys on round five. Now, I'm not going to lie, I didn't exactly think this one through, because if I actually don't get the Gobblegum, I'm going to have to wait a whole nother round before I can get it. As you can see, I did just get Perkaholic from the Gumball Machine, so I'm actually going to have to go a whole nother round before I can start this challenge now. Yeah, I didn't really think that one through, but that's okay, because that gives me enough time to get Jug. Actually, I think I did hit it in time for me to go again, and it's not it. It's actually going to be cash back, for God's sake. So I still have three more Gobble Gums to go through on the one it can be, so I have to go another round now, basically, before I can actually start this challenge. Which is a shame, but um, I have to do it. It does mean I can get Jug, though, and I'm just going to start the commentary here, because why not? Okay, I might actually die. My aim is possibly the worst you'll ever see. There we go, nice easy kill there. So yeah, we're just going to get all the kills. We're going to get some more ammo actually for our RK5 right about now. Just so I can stay alive. Okay, let's not go that way. See, that is, that is, okay, let's, oh no, we'll be able to get past these guys. Easy peasy, yeah, there we go. Perfect. See, that is, that is the key sign of a good zombies player, or a smart zombies player there. I know I'm not actually very good at zombies, okay, stop it. I'm actually not. But, um, you know, that's kind of the sign of something, you know, you're doing something right when you're thinking, okay, there's zombies in the way, I'm not going to go that way or else I'll die. That is a good sign. Okay, I really hope I get the goddamn um, <laughs> gobblegum on the next round, because I really didn't think this one through about, like, which gobblegum's which. I mean, I guess it does give me more time to set up, which is decent. Um, yeah, but I didn't really think it through properly. Okay, so that might be the end of the round coming up. So we're actually going to go ahead and purchase Juggernog now, which is awesome. So we turn to the right, Jug should be here, perfect. Yeah, so, really should have thought that one through better. I think there's a Gobblegum machine here, so we'll just wait down here and hopefully we'll get the Gobblegum, because this is going to be such a fun challenge, I can already I can already tell. And I have two of these Gobblegums, so I'll do another challenge with it as well. And uh, yeah, I know it's a bit soon to do um, Gorod Krovi challenges and stuff, but you know, I just kind of feel like doing it, you know? I just feel like doing some Gorod Krovi challenges. So anyway... Let's take a look here. Where are we going to find this last fucking zombie, mate? Because I really don't know where he is. Alright, um, zombie, plus. Seriously. I hate it when this happens. It takes so long to just wait for the last zombie. You should always stay in the same position, though. If you can't ever find the last zombie, you should always stay in the same position, because they will come to you. As you can see, there is clearly... There he is, see? Just like that. Comes right to me. Alright, let's wait for this to go down. Go down in price, and then we can actually hit the machine. What are we going to get, though? Why has it not gone down yet? There we go. Come on, give us something... Ah, oh, god damn it, it's Danger Close. I'm actually going to take that, though. Just for the... Sa that is so annoying. How much is it again? It's going to be 1,000... Okay, I can hit it again in this round if I just get enough points quick enough. I can actually hit it again. But yeah, it's so annoying. I didn't... Oh, fuck. I'm out of ammo. Come on, die, please. Thank you. Get the gobble gun. Get the insta, that's gonna help. The dragon's here, and oh my god, it's not even the fucking, oh god, uh oh. Okay, um, this, this, this definitely isn't going to plan. This, <laughs> yep, yeah, yeah, this is actually a, uh, the, the challenge right now. This is more of a challenge within itself, what's happening to me. Okay, I got out of it nicely though. Still got that insta kill going, so we could actually hit the gobble gun machine again this round. Should only be 3k, really. Oh, we got another double points, and we've got the who's um, keeping score. Oh, God, that might kill me. Okay, let's be careful. But, yeah, we should be able to go and get another gobble gun right now. It should be 3,000, right? Yes, it is. All right, here we go. The challenge is now beginning. We're just going to pop this, and the challenge is now beginning. We're going to get a random gun every 10 seconds, 5 minutes. And it looks like we're starting with a Vespa. All right, that's a good, that's a good starting gun. 
It's actually pretty simple. Do we have unlimited ammo? We actually have unlimited ammo. Oh no, it uses the stock one. So we basically have unlimited... Okay, oh shit, this gun. This crossbow is not ideal, but you can literally just spam it. This is fun though. This is actually fun. I wonder if it gives you like a pack punch version. Alright, the MX Grand. Alright, this is this is like a little gun game right now. This is pretty simple though, because we don't really have anything to worry about with the two the zombies. Like, I might have to try and do this again on a higher round. Or the HG40, we're not even going to get to use the HG40. It's quite fun though. This is quite a fun challenge, I can't lie. It's a, a very, very small challenge, but it's not exactly hard. Right, we de I think maybe, okay, to make it a bit, oh, you got, oh, I got my weapon kits on it, okay. So, instead I'm gonna just probably go into the spawn room, just gonna stay here, try and make it a little bit harder for myself, because I don't really want to just be, like, running around and making it easy. This is not a good gun to have, to be honest. It takes a while for the gun to load in. We got the KRM, which is, um, pretty, it will do for now. It will do for now. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to try and do this on a higher round, because very simple right now very simple I wonder if there's like a set order or if it literally is a random gun we're already halfway through it or not halfway we're a quarter of the way through it and we are not really having any issues all right we've got the dragon here now so let's get back into here yeah so we're not really having any issues so if i am going to do this challenge again definitely going to do it on a higher round on the l4 siege this gun's actually so good and i get unlimited ammo on it basically <laughs> this looks amazing look at this gun Unlimited ammo is mental. Right, the BRM now, not bad, not bad. The BRM, I'll take it. I will take it. I wonder if you get the. Oh yeah, you can get a random gun, so you get whatever guns on the map, I guess. So that's cool, dude. This is simple. This is simple. No problems whatsoever. We're definitely gonna have to. If we do this challenge again, I think I might have to get to like round 15 or 30, and then I will actually try it. So we're gonna be on the Elcon 9. Like it does get a little bit harder because you get pretty bad guns, but it's not that difficult to be honest. We're 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 dealing with it. I'm lucky. That I had that little challenge in the in the beginning of it, the KN44. I, I actually remember guns, man, because I haven't used some of these guns in ages. Essentially, on Gorod Krovi, the only guns I've really been using is the PPSH and the Raygun Mark III, and um, up, some random other guns as well. We've got the Cuda now. So yeah, pretty um pretty easy when you're on a lower round. But actually, we might get the boss zombie soon, so that should be fun. That that should be fun actually. But the boss zombie isn't exactly hard. I'm not gonna lie, they are pretty easy. Anyway, we are we, we seem to be locking down this area pretty well. There we go, the PPSH41. Oh, this gun's a beauty. It really is. I'm so happy that they brought it back into Black Ops 3. It's so much fun to use, honestly. It's actually one of my favourite guns in Black Ops 3. Not just because it was in World at War, it's just so much fun to use. Yeah, we're dealing with this fine. There's no problems whatsoever. The FAMAS, alright? The FAMAS is pretty fun as well. It gives you that, definitely gives you the Black Ops 1 feel when using this gun. I mean, if it didn't have that, okay, okay, let's be careful because there are quite a few zombies. Now, the Argos isn't really, the Argos, it's a shop in the UK, but the Argus isn't really the most effective gun we want to have. And there we go, we did the round. We are now on to round nine, and thank God we just got the Pharaoh because the Pharaoh is absolutely awful. That means we won't get it again. And we're nearly done with this challenge, to be honest. I am actually quite happy with myself. And to be honest, if I do complete this challenge, I'm not going to be going down. I will be um, doing the exit application like glitch thing because I don't want to lose this gobble gun to a, you know, not even that good of a challenge, really. Well, it's not even that hard of a challenge. It's just fun to use the gobble gun. It's more of a showcase of the gobble gun, and I love it to be honest. I love this gobble gun. I think it makes, I think it makes the game a lot of fun. You can have a lot of fun with this game, and even in a sense, you can it, you can use it like in a good way. So say if you're like in the boss fight on an Easter egg or something, and you run out of ammo, like you have a full gobble gun to use your ammo with, and like, I mean, <laughs> you have a gun in which you can get like a m complete ammo, and you keep getting ammo back. So essentially, you have infinite ammo for like five minutes if you think about it like that way, and it's awesome. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try and get to a higher round and do this another time. But for now, I'm pretty happy with this challenge. I'm pretty happy with how it started as well, which was pretty hard. Um, I wonder if I'll actually get the Raygun Mark III. Yeah, that's a good that's a good shower. You should you should get upgraded versions as well. But we're definitely going to get through this, and we're definitely going to be able to. We've got the HVK back now. We're definitely getting through this one, and it looks like we're going to get through with actually kind of a bit of ease because that is another round done, and I don't think we're even going to get to use the next gun in the next round. So I'm just going to wait for it to completely end. wonder what happens when it does end. Do you keep the gun you have? Or does it change your gun back to what it was? So do I get like the RK5 back? We've got the drones now anyway. But let's see what this. Let's see what happens. These drones are pretty easy. They're weird but pretty easy as well. So we'll take these drones out. And Okay, BRM is not doing enough damage. Right, the gobble gum is actually about to end. And there we go, we got the RK5 back. So there you go, that's what happens. 
when the um, gobble gum ends. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked this one and you want to see me do a higher challenge on this, like a higher round with this gobble gum, then make sure you leave a like and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.